Hi there, my name is Jonathan Ross and I'm an instructor for digital media and in the following tutorials we're going to take a look at light content management systems, specifically Get Simple CMS. This is one of my favorite light content management systems that's come out in the last couple of years and um, I've been creating a few websites with it and I've learned quite a lot about it and I've learned to enjoy using this content management system quite a lot. Now there are other content management systems like Joomla and WordPress and, and Drupal and Concrete 5 and those are much larger content management systems based upon um, databases and what separates Get Simple from them is that Get Simple is a very elegant and simple content management system that is not based upon a database. All you really need to have is um, a web server running PHP 5.2 and above, I believe. And um, it's quite elegant for both the designer and the clients to be able to use. Now you can create some pretty fancy websites with it. I created this one using Get Simple. I also created this one, Getting Simple, with full drop downs and all sorts of stuff. So it's very capable and um, it's also, once again, quite elegant. So here's a sample of the um, user interface uh, screenshots that they have on their site. You have the ability to view all the pages and edit the pages of your website. So it's basically a page based um, system, which is really nice for clients. You have the ability to edit the content in the pages and you'll see that we have the ability to also add a more advanced editor on here as well. You have the ability to, to manage files, um, images and uploads like maybe mp3 files or PDF files or something like that. You can even create folders. Um, you have the ability to edit components which are small snippets of code that you might put in your template somewhere. Um, there's also settings that you can change. Um, you can do different permalink structures, which is really great as well. And you have the ability to edit the themes of your website. You can edit the themes and edit the components. And you can generate a sitemap, which is kind of nice. And you also have the ability to add plugins to Get Simple, which is something that we'll do later on um, within the uh, tutorials. Now, there are other light content management systems. This one talks about 10 simple and lightweight CMS solutions. And there's Wolf CMS and Frog CMS, and there's also Get Simple in this list. Now, Get Simple has actually a comparison of different content management systems on their own website to show you that Get Simple really does offer a lot of features for the free price that it um, is. Now, what's great about it is that you get to put it on your own host. All you have to have is 5.2, um, PHP 5.2, and it's got great features like undo protection and um, the ability to have a full control panel. It's really, really great. Most of these other systems have some sort of price that they charge you. Um, so Get Simple, you can see, is a is a really offering you a great content management system. Now, in order to use any of these content management systems, you do have to have access to some sort of um, website hosting. Now, um, that's where you would install this, you know, on a web server so that other people can access it. You'd purchase a domain name and then the hosting, and you'd be putting these websites on your hosting company somewhere. Now, we're actually going to um, do a demo of this using a local host. And specifically, we're going to use XAMPP for Windows. Now, XAMPP has a lot more than we really need. We All we really need is Apache, which is the web server itself, and PHP. But this also comes with MySQL for databases and PHP my admin for managing the databases and FileZilla server and Tomcat and all sorts of other things. There is um, the ability for you to download an installer on this website um, and then uh, install it from that or you can even install it um, to, with a USB light version and that just means it doesn't have quite as many features as the other one but what I really like about that one is that it has relative paths so you can use it on USB devices. Now another light one that I really like is server to go and server to go even has a very small version which has just the PHP and Apache and SQLite which is um, a text-based database and what's really nice about Get Simple though 
is it doesn't even need SQLite. It actually uses XML to save the files. So the first thing that we need to do is actually go and download Get Simple. In order to do that, we're going to download it from their website, and that's what we're going to do at the beginning of the next tutorial. Um, actually, before I do that, though, we should look at um, accessing our um, our web server and getting that to run. So I'm going to open up my Internet Explorer or Windows Explorer and I have actually already downloaded and installed XAMPP. So let's take a look at what's in there. If we look in here there's a lot of files and a lot of folders. The folder we're most interested in is called htdocs and that's where all of our HTML documents are going to go. In order to start the service we need to go to our control panel so we'll um, click on that. Mine's already running so it means it's over here. And we need to start Apache. By starting Apache we are starting some sort of website um, hosting here or we're starting the server. Now in order to go to the server we want HTTP colon slash slash localhost. And once we've um, typed that in and we hit enter, we should be able to come up with the XAMPP for Windows um, message screen. Now, the thing about this right now is you'll notice that some website hosts do 127.0.0.1, and some of them even have um, some sort of um, extra numbers beyond that. This one will do localhost, which is really nice. Now, in order for it to show me the files, what I typically do is I go into my htdocs folder and I usually take off the index, um, I usually add a number actually, index 1, index 1, to those so they don't automatically run. That way I can go back to just localhost and you'll see that the files are here. And that's what we're going to need um, when we go into our um, using it or installing Get Simple. We're going to need to see this folder at first. So let's go on to the next tutorial where we download and install Get Simple and see how uh, to make it run, basically.